BoxingVoice.com live here with Tendi Genghis Khan. Uh, but it's how do you pronounce his name? Tendi, full name Ten Vakar. And last name? Erdenabat. Erdenabat. Yeah. And the first name again? Ten Vakar. Ten Vakar Erdenabat. Correct. We know him as the Mongolian Mole. Oh, wow. He is the sparring partner of Ryan Garcia and that's why I watched his fight on the zone um, tell him to tell us how does he rate his performance on the zone Oh, okay. He thinks he did solid, so he did a good job. Uh, the plan was to utilize all eight rounds to get to get uh, some rounds in for experience. Uh, so he's happy about the performance. But in the future bouts, he's looking for knockouts. Axum, is he happy? for all the publicity he was able to receive before his fight due to being a sparring partner with Ryan Garcia. Really? Yeah. Oh, that? Oh, is the guy right there? What do you mean? He was in the middle of the video. 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 He says he wanted to help Ryan as much as he could and he kind of changed his style and kind of uh, sparred Ryan um, with the, with the, tried to do, imitate Ryan's, I mean, uh, Tank's style as much as possible. Uh, what happened was unfortunate. He didn't really mean for that, for anything like that to happen. Um, and um, he just wanted, he felt bad uh, about what happened, but he didn't really plan for any, like, thing go go viral or to get more publicity. He, he didn't really plan for anything like that to happen. And uh, he also apologized on his Instagram because he used Google Translate and, you know, he couldn't read whatever was there. Um, he, he just kind of skipped some of the words when he was reading and that's just how it happened, he says. So before the fight, there was a lot of talk of him being able to fight the winner or the loser. After his fight on the zone, Lou DeBella stepped in and said, no, we want to get him another eight rounder. Do you think Lou was not happy with his performance or do you think Lou just wants to get him more rounds in? Uh. Ну, <laughs> He says, um, Lou, he 
doesn't know why. Uh, hold on. Abena. Abuga. Oh, oh. Tin bad. What you Tin. So I don't know uh, why Lou said what he said, but he says he's ready to fight Tank or Garcia or any champion. He's ready. He's, he's, he came here to win, and he came where, uh, here to fight the top elite fighters. So he's how, ready. How much amateur experience does he have? He told over 200 amateur fights. Okay. So obviously he doesn't need that much acclimation here in the pros. Right. Um, so how many more fights does he think he needs before he's in with the big elite name of 135? <laughs> If they, if, if they want to fight him, he can fight like right now. So it um, doesn't matter. He doesn't have to get any more wins. Um, so he's ready. Is he scheduled to come back on the next The Zone show that Lou is having, or you don't know? Uh, what I know is we have a fight uh, in June. Um, so. It, um, is that the zone or we don't know uh what platforms are going to be on but uh but it, what we know for sure is we're going to have a fight eight it's ten twelve rounder ten, a ten, ten round. rounder all right and uh is he local now here in vegas is he staying in vegas because he just fought and he's already here in vegas is he training already yeah so he's here uh to uh to train with uh hey definitely De Oh wow, okay. You're sparring Devin today. Yes. Has he sparred him yet or today's no, the first first time? And we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll see if they wanna continue using him. How tall are you? He's six four ish. What? No way. No way. Six four is tall. I'm six four, five. Oh, sorry. Five four. Okay. Five okay. four. Okay, five four. Ooh. <laughs> okay, uh, he, so South Pole. South Pole. Yes, I am Lomachika State, Tank State. My English is small. <laughs> a little bit big. Yeah. So, Axum, has he, is he gonna do, uh, has he practiced like imitating Lomachenko's footwork? Yes. Yes, he did. Can you give me a demonstration, a little bit of footwork? <laughs> no. no? Uh, ring, 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 ring. In the ring. 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 All right. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some. So, Axum, since he shared the ring with Ryan, uh -huh. does he think Ryan can still come back and be a world champion? Ryan, <laughs> I don't know. I can't speak for Ryan, uh, but if he um, if, he's, if he works hard, I think that's possible. Uh, where exactly is he from? He's from Mongolia, but he's uh, we're local in Los Angeles. Has there ever been a Mongolian world champion? Yes, there was. Uh, his name is uh, Fagwa Sem. He was a two division champion for WBI. I think. What, what, no. you know what, which class? I think it was Feather and Super Feather. Okay, 26 is good. And 30, that's not bad. Yeah. You're at 35. Very popular division, 35. So, what's his uh, nickname? Because he's obviously the internet has given him the Mongolian mole. What's his real nickname? Uh, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. My name is Genghis Khan. All right, all right. I think about uh, Ryan. Here, here's what what, uh, what I think personally about Ryan. And you are his manager. I'm his manager. Okay. Your name? I'm Bulga. 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 Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Um, I think Ryan has to.
do a rematch with with Tank uh, with all because of all the different things happened. Um, mm -hmm. the, you know, the you contract, mean the stipulations, the contract clauses, uh -huh. you know, uh, the weight, things like that. Now, can you clarify on the All Access epilogue? Ryan tells his trainer. His trainer asks him, Joe Goosen says, did he hit you in the rib? He says, yeah, he hit me in the rib. Did he break his rib or did he just bruise the rib? We don't know. Uh -huh. uh, all we know is uh, it was, um, you know, you know, um, you know he, he was uh, hurt and, uh, and then that was it. So. so you guys heard him and they sent you home? Pretty much. Hmm. Yeah. So, is he scared to hurt Devin Haney and get sent home, or is his goal, listen, I got to give the best work possible? Hey, this is sparring, and he needs, he's called here to help him, and he's, he's going to do his job. Um, so, um, um, and we'll see how it goes, but he's not here to hurt anybody. He's here only to help. Uh, outside of Ryan, what's the biggest name that he sparred, Genghis Khan? Ryan Russell, how much is that? I'll just look at that. Ryan's the biggest name. So it's, it's, oh yeah, he, he fought Shakur Stevenson uh, at the Olympics. So Shakur was a different person, different fighter. He was a different person. Ah, Keyshawn Davis. Huh? Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn Davis too. He also fought Keyshawn Davis uh, when they were amateur. Can he? Uh, it, it, was it too long ago, or does he think he can give a fair comparison of Shakur and Ryan? Ryan Shakur has fought. Has fought them before. Shakur has fought them before. Shakur has fought Like boxing skill wise, like Shakur is probably uh, more skilled, you know, to just keep uh, his opponents outside. So, in that regard, uh, Shakur is uh, more skilled. Who does. Oh, God, he was going to say something. He says if he, um, if he fights. Ryan in an actual fight, I think he, uh, he thinks he can win. Wow. Ask him, does he think that Shakur can beat Ryan? Shakur, Ryan, what's your name? Shakur, what's your name? For sure. Does Shakur beat Tank? Shakur, Tank, what's your name? Shakur, what's your name? Shakur, what's your name? Yeah, Shakur can also beat Tank. Thinks. Right now, before he spars Haney, does he think Shakur beats Haney? Shakur Haney control. He needs to talk to He can tell you that after he spars. No, no, no. From what you see, tell him I want to know what he sees. Then we'll do another one when he. I'm gonna stay, so we'll do another one after to see after he got in there. Maybe Shakur. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so for right now, he thinks is is Shakur. After he gets in there with Haney, he'll see, he'll reassess. But yeah, for him, he has unfinished business with Shakur. Mm. Cause he, he, yeah, because of the Olympics. Because of the Olympics, and that was a bout for bronze medal. It was mm -hmm. a quarterfinal bout. So ultimately, one day, he's, he wants to fight Shakur. And, yeah, he says, he, at the Olympics, he won twice, no medal for him, but Shakur won only two fights, and he got a silver medal. Mm. Uh, so that's something um, he doesn't uh, think not is not fair. Well, I can't wait to watch him work, and uh, thank you very much yeah, for can, the opportunity. Can I, uh, can I uh, comment Absolutely. on Ryan Garcia? Sure. So, like I was saying, ultimately, I think for Ryan's career, uh, you know, he's he's already at the top of the world. Mm -hmm. He's got all the fame. Um, he's, he's got everything that uh, that a, a, a fighter possibly you know seeks for. But ultimately, for him for him to to complete for him to be to be happy with his career, I think he should do a rematch against Tank and beat Tank. Mm -hmm. uh, but to do that, he needs to go through 
couple of different opponents. And Lomachenko, uh, because he's a southpaw, because he's experienced, could be somebody on, you know, that Ryan can fight in order for him to get his level uh, improved to, to another level. Mm -hmm. Also, he needs to fight um, uh, Tendi Genghis Khan at 140. Now, is, is, at 140, that fight is going to be, Ryan, I think, is going to be a big A side. As a manager, I wouldn't want him to fight Ryan at 140. But he wants to fight, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. And I don't know if, if Ryan's going to want it, but, um, but I think what, what type of opponents on his comeback fight for Ryan should be, I think um, it, the, the fight has to have a story. I think they, they have a you know, little bit of story of, of being sparring partners and things like that. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I think, to me, Ryan just should focus on, 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 uh, on the win against Tank, and he should do things, um, in, you know, he should strategize his fights to design a, a win uh, against a, 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 a rematch with Tank. That's what I think. So before we wrap it up, do you have any other fighters outside of Genghis Khan? Uh, I, uh, I'm on the, so we have uh, Genghis Khan and I'm uh, in the discussion of fighting some other top fighters from, uh, from outside the country. All right. Well, uh, if you have any social media and his social media. Uh, we have his, uh, yeah, we have our, our social media. If you can say it for those watching. Uh, so his social media is, uh, he, he has two accounts. Uh, his, uh, personal social media is Tendi Genghis Khan. Um, and his official social media is uh, Ten Genghis Khan Champion. So um, if you guys like his style, he's, I think he's, he's very charismatic. He's very, uh, uh, he has high, you know, good sense of humor, he's funny, uh, and he can fight. Uh, and he's, he, he doesn't put, out, put on that boring performance like some of the fighters that he mentioned. <laughs> so I, um, if, if he puts on exciting shows, um, and if you, if the if the boxing fan, fans like him, they can follow his uh, career and training on his social media. All right, thank you, guys. YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.